today? What the? Welcome back, y'all. You're watching Point on Archery, and I'm your host, Brad. Really appreciate you guys being here. So today in this little video, we're gonna be doing uh, a how-to on how to uh, fletch spin wings. Uh, and in particular, these are the 100 millimeter XS wings that I recently fletched up onto my Victory VAP Elites. And uh, I've been shooting these for uh, two or three weeks now, and I freaking love them. And I'm getting some really good groups out of them and uh, a lot of great stability. And so in this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through the process of me fletching up uh, a couple more of my VAPs. So stick around, let's jump into it. Okay, so to begin this little project, uh, what you're want, gonna wanna do first is grab your bare shafts. I have the Victory VAP Elite uh, V1s right here. This is an excellent arrow to use. Uh, it's a micro diameter arrow, and uh, that's what I'm gonna be using to compete in uh, this uh, little shoot coming up this weekend, and also the Mark 3D Nationals coming up as well. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do first is you're gonna want to uh, actually wipe down the uh, end of the arrow shaft with some denatured alcohol or some type of rubbing alcohol uh, to remove any oils and dirt and stuff like that. And so I've already done that with this one, so I'm good to go. Go ahead and get your fletching jig out like this. I'm using the BPE uh, fletching jig. I, I like this one. This one's the one I've had for a couple of years now. And uh, so far, you know, it's done me pretty well. So I've got this one set up uh, with uh, a helical clamp, but it doesn't really matter for this project because I've got it set up with essentially no offset. And that's what you're gonna wanna do with these spin wings. Uh, so I'm using right-handed or right wing spin wings. And uh, that's gonna be you know important in terms of how you set your, your fletching up uh, when you're marking and stuff like that. And so for this project here, I've taken uh, this particular clamp and I've made a silver mark on the front end of the clamp itself. And then I've put like a little black marking in between it. Essentially what I'm doing with that is is uh, I'm actually marking out the length of the spin wing itself. And so, uh, like I said, I'm using 100 millimeter spin wings. And so from the back of my clamp all the way to the front here, uh, that's uh, to, to this uh, silver marking here on the front, that's the length of my 100 millimeter uh, spin wing. That's what I'll be using as kind of a gauge to sort of mark the front and back of uh, where the spin wing is gonna set on the back of the arrow shaft. And so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your bare arrow shaft and go ahead and place that into your jig. And then I wanna go ahead and put my clamp in and set it right up against uh, the arrow as close as it'll go and as far back as it will go. Take your uh, marking pencil, like for this one I'm using a mechanical pencil. I like how fine of a point I can get and I can see this line really well on the back of my carbon shafts. You can also use a Sharpie or whatever you like. Essentially what I'm gonna be doing with this is I'm gonna be making a, uh, a mark right here at the front of where my silver mark is, and that's gonna designate the very front edge of my uh, spin wing. And then I'm gonna take this uh, pencil right here and I'm gonna mark as far back on the jig as possible, which ends up being right about here uh, on this clamp. And that sets me up roughly, I think about a half an inch or so from the actual edge of the knock. And that's usually about where I like to be when I fletch up my arrows. And so once you've got your, your, your back marking and your front marking, on your jig that's now on your arrow shaft, what I like to do is trace along the edge of, of the clamp itself and establish a line, okay? And so I'm gonna go back and forth, nice and easy between the front and back line that I've created just to make a nice marking along the clamp. And so what that's gonna do is establish a parallel uh, line to the shaft and that's gonna be essentially the line that I lay down my fletching tape against and then also where I end up actually placing my excess wing. And so this part is actually really simple. You're just gonna turn uh, the fletching jig uh, two more times and you're gonna repeat the process. And that's it and then repeat one more time.
And that's pretty much it. And then the next step is going to be applying your fletching tape. I've got this fletching tape right here, like so, really easy. I'm gonna try to touch it as little as possible because I don't wanna transfer too many of the oils on my fingers uh, to the tape. And you're just gonna place the back edge of the tape onto the back edge of where the, the marking that you made is. And so I'm gonna lay that down like so, and then clamp it with my thumb, my left thumb, stretch it a little bit, and then place it along the edge of the line. And I'm gonna follow that all the way down, just kind of tacking it all the way until it meets up with the very forward edge of the mark that we've made. And so we know that we've got it in the right place. And in particular for these right-handed, uh, right wing spin wings, I'm gonna actually place the tape on the right edge of the line. And so that's, now that I've done that and I've placed it, it's kind of tacked down. What I wanna do is I wanna take my forefinger and I wanna make sure that it's good and adhered to the shaft itself. So go ahead and burnish that in. I usually just burnish up and down the piece of tape a few times until I feel like it's uh, nice and stuck on there. And then you're just gonna repeat that process two more times. It's really easy. And this, honestly, this is one of the <laughs> easiest and fastest ways to uh, fletch that I've, I've ever really done. So go ahead and take another one of your pieces of tape and you're just gonna repeat the process. So there we go, that's that right there. And uh, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my excess wing veins here. I'm gonna take my clamp, which I've got here, and then I'm gonna place that in, just enough to hold it really. That's all I want this, uh, this clamp for at this point. I'm just really wanting something to hold uh, the edge of the vein. And then I'm gonna flip the arrow around uh, back in the knock facing me and then I'm gonna actually peel the covering to this double-sided fletching tape it may take a second if you got fingernails It's a little easier. Sometimes you can use a blade edge, which sometimes I do I'll use my pocket knife to actually pull that backing off of the double-sided tape Once you've got that just go ahead and pull that off really easy And then I usually lay these down from the back forward What I'll do is I'll find the back edge of my tape and I'll lay down the very tip of the excess wing and then slowly start eyeballing it and laying it down going forward to as far as it will go. And then once I've got nice contact with the tape, I'll just pull the clamp off and then make sure it's touching all the parts of the tape. And then from there, just take your thumb or your forefinger or whatever and burnish that vein down onto your fletching tape to get a good adhesion between the vein and the tape itself. And I do that a few times just to kind of Make sure it's stuck on there as good as it can be. And then you're ready to move on to the next two and it's the same process, it's really easy. Okay, so to finish off the, the last part of this uh, fletching process, you're gonna take the black tape. This is kind of the electrical tape that's used to finish off the front end and the back end of your uh, spin wing. Just peel that off like so. Get a nice purchase on the very front edge of the tape. I wanna place about half uh, the width of the tape over the front of the uh, excess wing. I'll stick one down and I'll kind of stick it and tack it with my thumb really quick. And then I'll just start pulling just slightly, rotating with my left hand and continuing to pull tension with my right hand as I'm spinning. And I do this, I wrap it about two to three times. And then once that uh, gets wrapped about three times, just put a little tension with my fingernail and my thumb and then pull forward and snap that off just like that. And then we're just gonna do the back edge of the, uh, the veins in the same process. And like I said, you're gonna want to uh, make sure that you've got about half the tape covering the back edge of your excess wings and about half of it uh, totally in contact with the, uh, the carbon shaft itself. And then once you're done wrapping that, just go ahead and kind of put some pressure between your forefinger and your thumb and roll it. Make sure that it's good and stuck on there. And that's it. That is the process right there. This is the process of 
of fletching up uh, excess wings. Uh, but like I said, I've really enjoyed these so far. These uh, after shooting these over the past two or three weeks after coming back from the boot camp, I've enjoyed the heck out of shooting these, and I plan on continuing to shoot these uh, further for particularly for outdoor and that type of thing. I'm really enjoying the groups that I'm getting and the stability. Um, I, any 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 crazy wobble in my arrow uh, that I've been getting is purely from user error plucking the string and such. These uh, these excess wings uh, stabilize very quickly, and uh, like I said, I'm getting really really tight groups down range and really really stable consistent arrow flight with these. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please hit the like button below. Also, remember to subscribe and comment and share this video to uh, anybody out there who you think would benefit from seeing this little tutorial on uh, fletching up some spin wings. Uh, I gotta say thank you uh, very much to Ken Reynas uh, for putting his video up out there uh, about how to do this. Uh, if not for him, I wouldn't have had this process and I'm essentially using the, the almost the exact same process that Ken Reynas uh, uses uh, to fletch up his uh, spin wings as well. Uh, he was an excellent resource at the Barebow Boot Camp and uh, he's a really great shooter and uh, an excellent coach and a teacher as well. And so many thanks to Ken Reynas for, for, for that and uh, I'll put a link down below to his channel and uh, you can also see the original video that he put out on his process. Uh, to uh, fletch up spin wings as well. So yeah guys, that's it. I'm headed down to LA this weekend and I'm really excited to hang out with some friends I haven't seen in a long time and get outside and shoot some, uh, some 3D hopefully and get ready for the Mark 3D Championships coming up next weekend. So yeah guys, I hope you guys have something to look forward to like that. And remember, get outside, get to the range, keep training y'all.